Good morning. This is Sarah from Sarah's House of Random, reading from the Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. And today is March 27th. We are born singing. Song is not a luxury, but a necessary way of being in the world. Somehow we have been fooled into thinking that song is entertainment, something we can do without, like dessert. But to give voice to what lives inside us is what keeps all things possible. In truth, the minute we arrive, we are born singing, though this is often mistaken for crying. Yet without this deep reflex, the lungs won't work and the lifelong exchange between inner and outer can't begin. I remember my first day alone at home after my rib surgery. For the first time in months, everything was still, the morning light now filling the space where my rib used to be. Suddenly, finally, I began to weep, loudly, as pockets of fear and pain and exhaustion escaped. This release was a song, and what I hadn't realized was that, once released, once the buildup of my journey was given a way out, life with its thousand energies and soft softnesses could come in. Such a simple secret. By letting things out, we also let things in. So if you're cut off, in pain, estranged, numb, Sing, give voice to anything. It needn't sound pretty. Simply, bravely, open despite the difficulty and let what is in out and what is out in. Sing and your life will continue. I think that's so beautiful because I've been, I've been hurting a lot lately and I've been doing a lot of crying and He's so right, though. Crying can be a, a form of singing because, I mean, you're releasing stuff. You're releasing the pain. You're releasing the heartache. You're releasing the fear. And it's very important as a part of healing. It's sort of cathartic from what I'm learning. learning. And then, of course, after I, you know, let that release out, I put on one of my favorite songs um, and I actually sang to it even though I don't sound nearly as wonderful as this woman does when she sings it's um, shoot I think it's um, oh no fly my pretties is the band and the song is stardust Mud and Stardust or something like that. And it's just an absolutely beautiful song. I'll see if I can leave a link in the description box so you guys know what I'm talking about because it's just ugh, my favorite. It's like, I am made of mud and stardust. I am made of love and wanderlust. So, I'm made of mud and stardust. I am made of love and wanderlust. Yeah, like that. That's beautiful. I'm not going to keep going because I don't know if I sound good. I never really, I never really liked my voice when I'm hearing it from a recording or somewhere else because I'm like, that's, that's not how I sound because, you know, you always sound totally different in your own head than when you're actually being recorded, so... Meditation for today. Sorry. Just center yourself and locate one pocket of pain or fear or exhaustion that is building inside you. Breathe your way into that pocket. Inhale into the buildup. Exhale, letting what's in there make its way into the world. Realize that your breath is the passageway that connects your inner buildup with the air of the world. Realize that the sound of your breath is the quietest of songs. If you guys like the video, please like it. Please share and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I love subscribers. Because without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. Um, although I did say when I first started that I am doing this for myself. But now I realize it's more, more for other people than myself. Because I really feel that, you know, this book of awakening is very, very important to read to see life from a different perspective, um, especially in the journey of healing. 
because um, everybody has their own stories that they are healing from so it's very important uh, leave a comment or email me at the email address in the description box I hope you all have a wonderful day love you